Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here. In this presentation, I'm going to show you an example where we solve a particular partial differential equation via a change of variables. Now in other videos, I've shown you why the change of variables method works, uh, but the focus of this particular presentation is on uh, a, a basic example to see how it all fits together. Okay, so this is the uh, PD that we're going to solve. You, you can solve it perhaps in, in other ways, but that's not the subject of this video. What we are going to try to do is to develop a new set of coordinates, if you like, or a new set of variables such that when we consider u as a function of these variables and we compute the partial derivatives, the partial differential equation gets simplified in a huge way because one of the derivatives will disappear. Therefore we can use uh, essentially uh, ordinary differential equation techniques to solve it. Okay, so this uh, PDE here is a special case of the following uh, uh, more general equation where A, B, C and D may depend on X and Y. Okay, so I guess in this case we've got A equals X, B equals negative Y, C equals positive 1 and D equals uh, the constant function 2. Now from a previous video um, we, we discussed how to choose or to construct these new variables. Okay, One of them is constructed from the following ordinary differential equation which is uh, just the ratio of the function b over the function a. So in this context it's negative y on x and this, I mean, this could be a nonlinear problem, but in this case, it's a nice linear first-order ODE, which we know how to solve. Okay, it's also it's also separable. Okay, so if I was to uh, solve this, I would solve it in the following way. I've got uh, I look at the coefficient of y, and I raise it uh, an exponential to the integral of that coefficient. So it's e to the negative. Uh, or the integral of negative 1 on c. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of extra information to this problem. I'm going to add that we're only interested for solutions u of x comma y when x is positive. Now the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to get a logarithm here and um, it just makes it a, a little bit simpler. So I've just added that to the uh, problem. Okay, so if I integrate 1 on, or negative 1 on x I'll get a logarithm. Now usually we would have a natural log usually would have absolute value signs there, but x is positive, so we don't need them. This is just e uh, 1 over e to the log x, and e and uh, log x are inverses of each other, so I'll get the following. Now if I rearrange this and sort of put it in its implicit form, then that's how we can choose one of these variables. Now it doesn't matter which one you, you choose here. I, I'm going to choose uh, the psi to be um, connected with this. So I'm going to choose psi to be the left hand side of this implicit solution to this original uh, dy dx uh, equals negative y on x. Okay, now you could choose um, eta to be that, but I've just done it this way. Now once we've chosen that, the other choice is, is very simple indeed. Okay. Now even though I'm writing eta depends on x and y here, I'm just going to let it depend on x. So here are our two new sets of variables. Okay, so what we're going to do with these new variables then is to consider u as a function of these new variables. We're going to calculate u sub x and u sub y, plug them into the differential equation, 
and you'll see some simplification occur. Okay, now in order to compute u sub x and u sub y, we need a chain rule. Okay, so now I like to draw little uh, functional relationships. So um, u depends on psi and eta, psi depends on x and y. And eta depends on x and y. In this, in this case, it's just x, but I'm just going to put x and y down. Okay? And so to calculate u sub x, you work out all the paths leading to an x. When you go from letter to letter, you form a derivative. Okay, u sub psi times psi sub x plus u sub eta times eta sub x. So u sub psi, we don't know what that is, but psi sub x, psi sub x, differentiate this partially with respect to x, I'll get y, plus u sub eta times eta sub x. So eta sub x, differentiate this with respect to x, I'll get one. Let's go down leading, uh, all the paths leading to a y. So u sub psi times psi sub y. Psi sub y is going to be x. And plus u sub eta times eta sub y. Now this doesn't depend on y, so eta sub y is 0. Okay. Now let's take these expressions, sub them into star, and hopefully there's some cancellation occurring. Okay, so I've got x times y u sub um, psi plus u sub eta minus y x psi times u sub psi plus u equals 2. Now you can see if I expand this, these terms out, the first term will cancel with this term. Okay, so essentially that's going to disappear and that's going to disappear. So what I'm left with then is a differential equation, a partial differential equation, that only has one derivative present. So it's been simplified uh, in a significant way, which means we can solve it. Okay. Now, if I expand this out, x, I get x u sub eta. Now x is just eta, so I can just replace the x there. And I get the following. Okay, again, there's only one derivative present there. So even though I use a function of two variables, I can just use basic linear ODE techniques to solve this problem. And in fact, this particular equation is really simple because the left hand side is just the derivative of a special product. Okay? If you look carefully, now this doesn't always work out, but I'm just going to go for it for, for this one because it works out nicely and it saves a bit of time. The partial derivative of this product gives you this, okay? So what, what this means is I've collapsed the left-hand side to the derivative of, of something, so I can integrate both sides and solve. So if I integrate both sides, the dd um, eta will disappear. And I'll get, because use a function of two variables, I need a function of integration here. So I'm making use a subject. I'll get the following. And now it's time to put everything back in terms of x and y. So our final answer is going to be, okay, um, psi is xy, eta is just x, so where k is an arbitrary but differentiable function. Okay, so that's how it works for uh, these uh, substitution um, change of variables type 
problems. Now, if you get down to here and you've got two derivatives in your equation, you've done something wrong. Okay, so that's a good uh, flag to, to, to check to see whether you're heading on the right path. Okay? Now, in other videos, I'll be doing more examples. I hope you can join me for those presentations.